Instituto Folclórico Cubano Americano, Maestro Bobby Ramírez, presenta Su Majestad Ritmo Lanzón. Dirección General y Vestuarios, Glenda R. Mujer Esperanza. Coreografía, Maestra Yami. Producción musical, Maestro Bobby Ramírez. Música, La Habanera, La Paloma, del compositor Sebastián Iradier. Y la contradanza cubana, Los Ojos de Pepa, del compositor Manuel Saumel Robredo. Presentamos a Miss Cuba Libre. Señorita Dayana. Señorita Melanie. Señorita Dami. Miss Ritmo Lanzón, Gabriela Camilo.
Y me da gusto de hacer este certamen y ustedes aquí compartiendo con nosotros esta noche. Así que gracias. Bueno, primeramente le quiero dar la bienvenida a la maestra de ceremonias. La ma primera maestra de ceremonias que tengo esta noche, esta es la reina actual de Miss Arteco. Eh, tuvo la oportunidad de ir a Miss Intercontinental en Manila, Filipinas y representó a Cuba con 86 candidatas en todas partes del mundo. Así que vamos a dar la bienvenida a Cynthia Lau.
sin miedo Arriesgate y sigue mal juego Sola, quiero Y a tus amigas hasta luego Esa tentación es solo
event was my favorite moment. I loved everything. I learned so much from this experience. I grew as a person. I'm so confident and so proud to be here tonight. Thank you for all of you guys. And I can't wait to see who's going to be the next news team at the go. All right, so as we all know, Valeria just competed in Miss Carnival Miami and placed third runner-up. How has your experience been so far? Well, it's amazing. They're amazing in everything they do. I, I felt so confident when I was on stage. I had a great time, and I can't wait for what's to come. So, Vale, what are you looking most after your reign? Are you sad? I know I'm sad, and I'm going to miss being Miss Art Deco and Miss Intercontinental Cuba. So, tell me, what are you going to miss most? Alright, everybody a round of applause for Valeria. My beautiful Diana, who's welcoming a new baby soon. We are so excited to have him join the Miss Art Double family. How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes esta noche? Bueno, muchas gracias a todos por venir a apoyar a estas niñas. Eh, realmente para mí es muy emocionante estar acá como meses. También pude aprender muchísimo de las niñas y, y pues también todo lo que hicimos, todo lo que compartimos, todas las fundaciones que tuvimos la oportunidad de ayudar y creo que pues eso es lo más importante, ¿no? Poder contribuir con la comunidad. ¿Y qué, más, qué, qué es lo que más vas a extrañar de tu año? Poder compartir con los niños, todo lo que compartimos con los niños y poder estar con My Sister Queens todo el tiempo. Así que creo que eso es eh, lo que más voy a extrañar, pero igual sé que vamos a seguir haciendo muchísimo por la comunidad y las que tenemos más títulos, vamos a seguir estando ahí también para verlos a ustedes también en la comunidad. De eso es. Ser Sister Queens es querernos mucho y seguirnos apoyándonos. Ahora aquí es, vamos contigo. All right, loves. How are you feeling? Good. Are you a little sad that you're, you know, this is the final night? Yeah, but I'm gonna continue seeing you guys. We're all gonna be together forever, so. What was your favorite moment during your reign? Uh, the parades and the fundraising. Yeah. <laughs> so what's next for you after this? Well, after this I'm competing in Miss Glamour International. And on Sunday, and I'm really looking forward to it. We will be cheering you on. <laughs> que todas individualmente tenemos nuestros propios proyectos y estamos muy emocionadas pa, para las nuevas reinas así que continuemos con el show un aplauso fuerte para nuestras reinas así que
beauty pageant. So we would like to once again thank all of the pageant supporters uh, for the Miss Cuba USA and for the Miss Art Deco pageant. So we're going to start with Morala Gonzalez at Tetra de Bellas Artist, Alicia Facio at Alicia Facio Modeling School, Bridal Boutique by Barbara, Venetia Bologna, Lily of the Valley, Ingrid Brugo with Brugo Makeup, Leo Figueredo at Export Miami Fitness, Indania Miranda, Premium Estate Realty Corp, Ariel Cubas at Akutu Salon and Spa. Kristen Regalado Designs, my favorite Filipino designer. Hilbert Henry, Be Bella Mundos Magazine, Wayne Zamora, Latin Connection Magazine. Maritza Guevara, Fundación Lazos Amor y Sonrisas. Miguel Maldonado, International Sunny Isles Fashion Show. Von Gretchen, Von Gretchen Shepherd of Crowns for Charity. Angel Ferrer, Miami Media School. Patty Vargas of Futurama Galleries and Viernes Culturales of Little Havana. Jorge Esteban of Pageant Smart and the National Director of Miss Universe Iceland. So special thanks to Henry Mesa Designs, Damaris Aguiar, Dama Academy, Baron Depar of Baron's Visual Images. Si tenemos reinas, eh, visitantes, por favor, vengan al escenario para darle un fuerte aplauso. ¿Hay algunas reinas visitantes? Sí, sí. Suban al escenario. So we would like to recognize our visiting royalty and pageant directors. over 
17 years of experience. He specializes in cycling, cardio kickboxing, corrective exercise, and nutrition. Over the years, I have worked, he has worked with reality stars, models, and title holders to prepare them for their competitions and pageants such as Miss Universe, Miss World, and Miss Intercontinental. Put your hands together for Leo Frigadero. Our next judge is a fashion designer major, major from Miami University of Art and Design with Industrial Essential Certification at the New School Pearsons New York, in New York City, my favorite city. Journalism and Communications at Florida International University and broadcast at Art Institute of Miami. Yaz Gonzalez launched a successful swimmer line that caught the attention of the fashion industry. This initial success is what motivated Yaz to officially start her own line and open the doors to House of Yaz, where hot couture meets Caribbean flair. Behind the doors of her atelier in Miami, one can find anything from a dress for brunch to a red carpet worthy piece. Through the years, her portfolio has included and has grown to be something to marvel at. Talent and hard work are evident when you have names like Carolina Herrera, Oscar de la Renta, Alexander McQueen, Balmain, or Christian Louis Vuitton on your roster. Her designs have been worn for various music videos as well as star-studded stages and numerous red carpets for Grammys, Latin Grammys, Emmys, Billboards, Latin Billboards, Premios du Mundo, Premios Juventud, Tony Awards, Latin Songwriters Hall of Fame Awards, Premio Lo Nuestro, and the American Music Awards. From Pitbull to JLo, Ricky Martin, Gente de Zona, and Alejandro Sanz, Yaz continues to expand her influence in the fashion world, featuring through the list of magazines such as Vogue, British Vogue, People and Español, People, Vanity, Vanity Fair, British Vanity Fair, British GQ, Mercedes Benz Swim Week, Fort Lauderdale Fashion Week, South Florida Fashion Week, Miami Fashion Week, Vancouver Fashion Week, the Royal Gala Dubai, Paris Fashion Week, and New York Fashion Week. She has also been the main designer of Miami Swim Week for two years. Everybody, please welcome Yaz Gonzalez. All right, so our next judge presenting, Miguel Maldonado, born native of Colombia, a man jack of all trades. He studied fine arts in London, England, and then from there went to Los Angeles, California, and then landed in Miami, Florida. He works in the industry of real estate with knowledge of housing markets only felt natural because of his compassion for interior decorating. He decided to do something quite extraordinary in the world of fashion and created the International Sunny Isle Beach Fashion Show, where, his, for, where he has worked with various international high fashion designers as well as developing high-end productions. He has fallen in love with the beauty and fashion alongside his wife of 23 years, Imperatrice, and their beautiful daughter, who is also a model and a former pageant title holder, Pere Maldonado. Please welcome Mr. Miguel Maldonado. Our next judge has over 30 years of pageantry and fashion. Tania Gonzalez Terran is one of the few women who holds titles in the Miss and Mrs. categories. She's graced the covers of numerous fashion magazines and has modeled for prestigious brands and international designers. She's currently working on a few projects, including an autobiography on how to prepare for competition and working towards a double major in business and communication at the University of Miami. Her husband of 25 years and their son couldn't be prouder of this woman who has accomplished so much. She was the first title holder of Nuestra Belleza International 1989 and was placed top 10 finalist in Miss Florida, USA, 1990. Please welcome Tania Gonzalez Terran. All right, our next judge presenting, Lisa Opie. Now she's a fashion designer, model, and pageant title holder. Lisa is the founder of Miss Gaia Swimwear, which has been featured in the Miss United States, Miss Earth United States, Miss World America, Miss USA, and Miss Universe. Lisa has worked with media outlets doing red carpet interviews at New York Fashion Week and Miss Universe. She has recently developed her beauty brand name Lady Code with her line of makeup and lashes. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Lisa Sophie. Our next judge 
is very close and dear to my heart. Cuban American artist and poet, he is a music composer and board member of Fundación Somos Cubanos. Vamos a darle una bienvenida y un aplauso fuerte al señor Raúl Hernández. Our final judge and auditor presenting Vaughn Gresham. Now she is no newcomer to pageantry and the entertainment industry. After capturing the crown of Miss Black America, she was discovered in a restaurant by world-renowned French designer Hubert Del Da Vinci and became an overnight sensation as one of the top print and runway models in Europe and New York City. She has graced the pages of Vogue, Bazaar, Elle, Glamour, Cosmopolitan, Ebony, and Essence magazines and stormed the runways of world-famous designers in New York, Paris, Rome, Milan, Venice, Germany, and Japan. She is now the CEO of her own special events company, Unforgettable Productions. Please put your hands together for Ms. Vaughn Gretchen Shepherd. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So if we can please have all of our judging panels stand up to be recognized, and let's give them a round of applause again to our hardworking judges. de esta noche, un desfile de moda, mi favorito. Presentando su nueva colección de primavera por la diseñadora Venecia Villarona con la marca Lily of the Valley, modelados por las candidatas de Miss Cuba US y Miss Art Deco 2019, comenzamos el desfile de esta noche. Now we're going into the surprise segment of the evening, presenting the fashion showcase by designer Venecia Villarona with her brand Lily of the Valley featuring her spring collection modeled by the contestants of Miss Cuba US and the Miss Art Deco 2019. Let the fashion show begin. Vamos con el desfile. Música. <laughs>
a ver que nos quiere contar algo. Buenas noches. Yo solo quiero reconocer a unas personas muy importantes. Quiero reconocer a unas personas muy importantes. Y son los padres y las familias que apoyan a estas niñas. Porque no solamente, no solamente es apoyo material, sino también apoyo moral. Y ustedes lo están demostrando aquí. you guys because thanks to you guys, these girls can make their dreams come true because not only do you support them monetarily but you also support them with you being here which is important which is what our youth really needs es lo que necesita en realidad nuestra juventud el apoyo de nuestra familia hacia nuestros sueños felicidades
Cada concursante proporcionó vestidos de su selección. Los jueces están buscando no solamente el vestido, pero cómo las candidatas llevan ese vestido. La elegancia y la confianza ganan en esta parte de la competencia. That's right. So the, each of these contestants uh, provided gowns of their choice, and the judges are judging the young lady and the gown itself. So poise, elegance, and confidence wins this part of the competition. Let's get the evening gown competition started with contestants competing in the 2019 Miss Cuba U.S. and the Miss Art Deco pageant. La competencia de traje de banda comienza en la categoría de junior. La primera concursante es la concursante número uno, Michelle del Pozo, representando Manzanillo. Michelle mide 5'1, tiene el pelo castaño y los ojos marrones. Es estudiante de la escuela Nautilus Middle School. Michelle le encanta bailar, modelar y actuar. Su objetivo es que un día se convierta en dermatóloga. Ella es Michelle, mi manzanilla. Qué bella. Mis manzanillo. La próxima concursante es la concursante número 2, Stephanie Mendes Oro, representando Santa Clara. Stephanie mide 5-2, tiene el pelo rubio y los ojos marrones. Es estudiante de la escuela Ex Exclusive Language Academy. Stephanie le gusta bailar y modelar. Su objetivo es estudiar para ser doctora. Ella es Stephanie, mi Santa Clara. Un aplauso fuerte para mi Santa Clara. Última concursante en la categoría de Junior T. para ser abogada. Ella es Jasmine, nuestra ministra de Me encanta el baile y el modelaje. 
en otras ocasiones, deben ser espontáneas, rápidas y siempre con mucha personalidad. Que estoy segura que todas las concursantes las tienen, pero ya veremos quiénes son nuestras reinas esta noche. Muchas gracias a todos ustedes por estar presentes esta noche. Alright, so as you know, the coveted title is more than a crown and sash. It is the job. So when all the applause is over, our winners may have to model some suits or evening wear for a photo shoot or a fashion show, but they will also have to speak in public as well. So they must be effective communicators in order to make a difference in their community, their city, and their country. At times, they may have press interviews in which they will be able to hold an in-depth conversation. And at other times, they must be spontaneous and quick on their feet and always, always have loads of personality. Eso es correcto, Kies. Nuestro segmento final de la competencia es la, la entrevista en el escenario. Esta noche vamos a tener a cada concursante responder a una pregunta en el escenario para mostrar lo bien que pueden desarrollarse mientras celebran sus opiniones y educación. Our final phase of the competition is the on-stage interview. Tonight we will have each contestant answer an on-stage question to show how well they can dance on their feet. So while celebrating their opinions and education, I will now ask to bring up the questions bucket, which we have right here on stage, as we have the questions submitted by the pageant officials to be answered. We will begin with the juniors division. Comenzaremos con la categoría de juniors. La competencia de entrevista en público va a comenzar con la primera concursante, la concursante número uno, Michelle Del Pozo, representando Manzanillo. Buenas noches, Michelle. ¿Cómo te sientes esta noche? Bien. Eh, ¿Tus familias y familiares están acá? ¿Te sientes muy emocionada? Sí. Sí, nervioso. Bueno, escoge tu pregunta. Para que el público sepa, yo le preguntaré a Michelle la pregunta en dos idiomas. Primero en inglés y después en español. Y ella responderá en el idioma que mejor se sienta. For my English speakers, Michelle will be asked a question in English and in Spanish. She will respond with the language that she feels best. ¿Estamos lista? Bullying se ha convertido en el mayor problema en la sociedad de hoy. ¿Alguna vez has sido víctima del bullying y cómo lo has superado? Bullying has become the biggest issue in today's society. Have you ever been a victim of bullying, and how have you overcome it? Um, I have been a victim of bullying in fourth grade. Um, my like one of my close friends turned up, like turned her back on me, and I felt like really like ashamed because I knew her since like since we were like super little. So I told my teacher, and then she went to the counselor, and I told my mom, and then like I was like super sad. Because like she's been my best friend. Thank you. Un aplauso fuerte para la Nuestra próxima concursante, por favor, al escenario, ella es Santa Clara. Alquizar, Brenda. Y comenzamos con la categoría de 
de origen cubano. What are you most proud of being Cuban or a Cuban descent? I'm proud of being Cuban because of my family. My family and I are very united and we are very open to each other. And I feel that family is very important.
a Molly and Etiquette session by Alicia Facio, Molly School. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gift certificate by Bridal Boutique by Barbara. Next we have a Lifestyle Glamour Shoot by GW Photography. He's one of my favorite photographers. A makeup lesson by Google Makeup. A wardrobe provider by designer Vanessa Villalona. A year-long physical fitness training by Leo Figueiredo of Excor Miami. Hair care provider by Aria Kimos of AQ Salon and Spa Men, who we now Precioso esta noche. A chance to work with modeling and talent casting agencies. And the winners will also have the chance to compete at a national and international level competition, along with so much more. For more information on our pageant, you can visit the website at www.misscubaus.com and missartdecopageant.com. And follow us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Para más información sobre el certamen de Miss Cuba US, puedes visitar la página web www.misscubaus.com y missartdecopageant.com. También puedes seguir nuestros certámenes por las redes sociales durante el año por Facebook, Instagram, Twitter y YouTube. Este año por primera vez en nuestro certamen es el programa de la pequeña princesa embajadora. O sea, quiere decir que son esos niñitos chiquititos que vieron modelando, que modelan que es espectacular, van a ser coronadas esta noche. Serán las, nuestras princesitas embajadoras. Esta es una manera no competitiva para nuestras fans más jóvenes, pero sino para involucrarse en un año emocionante unidas con las reinas hermanas de Miss Cuba y Was y Miss Marta. Introducing new this year to the pageant is the Little Miss Princess Ambassadors Program. This is a non-competitive way for our youngest fans to get involved in an exciting year and joining the Miss Cuba US and the Miss Art Deco pageant family. Hoy le presentamos un premio especial a dos chicas especiales que serán las pequeñas princesas de Miss Cuba US este año. Así que para celebrar este evento especial, queremos presentar ahora con su corona Daniela Carmona y Melanie Núñez. Se va a tomar un momento en el escenario para que se vea muy especial. Un fuerte aplauso a América de Yesa.
say real quick that our videographer, Justo Valdez, he has the videos for all that happened tonight, and um, so look him up, please, Justo Valdez. And then also um, Mishima, Mishima Jewelry Design, um, Elizabeth Crane. So look her up too. She is, um, her jewelry was out. Fine jewelry, really beautiful fine jewelry. Thank you so much. Okay, before we announce tonight's results, we have a patent tradition to honor. Okay, and um, this is just, an, uh, they're going to do their final walk. It's a tradition. Um, dice, antes de anunciar los resultados de esta noche, tenemos una tradición de desfile que honrar, que sería nuestro último paseo ceremonial que de despedida de nuestra reina. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're going to do the prizes first. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going to do some prizes first.
best in swimsuits.
meet new ladies, new friends. I made new friends, hopefully, for a long, long time. We stay in contact and we create a great friendship together. Yeah. Porque para mí 
ha sido la experiencia más bella del mundo. Gracias. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to bring out for her ceremonial farewell, final walk, let's hear for your reigning Miss Woman Art Deco 2018, Ke Keisha Sims. And Keisha is not here, so Diana, can you see? I'm so sorry, sorry. Diana Pineros. Diana has a little baby. Inside. So cute. I can't believe how time flies when we are having so many beautiful moments. From the first day I wore my crown, I will feel forever blessed for all the valuable moments we share with the community and for all the kids I had the pleasure to meet and help learn my way. I also had the opportunity to learn and share time with my sister twins, which was a unique experience and our friendship will last forever. I would love, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been part of this year. Thanks to my amazing and handsome husband, Christian, <laughs> for all his love and support. Thank you to my sponsors, who made sure I was always used to partying at all the events, and all the support for believing in me unconditionally. Thank you, Ms. Art Deco Padding, for all the experiences, and lessons that you taught us. I became a more confident person thanks to you. Today, I finished one more chapter of my life, and I hope I can inspire more married women like me and girls to join in this amazing experience. Please remember that as three queens, it's not determined by her crown, but by her inner beauty and heart. Thank you, and once again, I'm Diana Pinero, this is Art Deco 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, please give, put your hands together as we bring out our Miss Art Deco 2018, Cynthia Lynette Lau, for her final ceremonial walk. Competing against 90 countries was exhilarating, 
but it brought me some of my best friends. I grew as a person, my confidence was at an all-time high, and my message was left clear. My goal was to uplift those when I can, invest myself in cancer research and funding, graduate college, and truly grow as a person. To say I checked all of my boxes makes me the happiest. Fatima and Jorge, you were my adopted parents for the year, but now forever. I will cherish your love and support always. Fatima, you never left my side, and I could not have asked for a better director in this journey. I'm so proud to say I was your first Cuban international queen, but I am even prouder of the brand you have built. It says a lot about your character, and those that know you would definitely agree. Vale, Annette, Jen, Kies, Diana, Angelina, and Camila. I am grateful to have met each and all of you. Your future is bright, and never give up on your dreams. I will always cheer you on. Lastly, to my family, my friends, my love, and my coaches, you were my rock through it all. My gratitude for you is extensive. I closed this journey with pure joy and an overwhelming amount of gratitude. Now it's time for my next journey, which you'll soon find out. And to the new queens, enjoy your year. Be grateful. Take it all in, because it goes by in the blink of an eye. Mi gratitud es inmensa. Mi corazón feliz. Gracias eternamente por creer en esta joven soñadora. Fue un orgullo representar a mi Cuba y a todos los de mi patria. Con amor, with love, your Miss Intercontinental Cuba and Miss Art Deco 2018. Tonight, 
Tonight's winners are unable to fulfill her commitment to represent their title. The runners-up will assume their title and prizes. The moment we all have been waiting for. All night. Ladies, here we go. Tonight's first runner-up is... Junior team, the junior division, junior division. Okay, first runner up. Can the junior division please walk forward? First runner up is Michelle Del Pozo.
Jennifer Sanchez. Hola, mi nombre es Cintia Line Lao y soy su Miss Intercontinental Cuba 2018. ¿Quieres ser la próxima soberana y representar a Cuba a nivel internacional? Este es tu momento. Para más información puedes contactar el número de Fátima Coello a 305-753-1224 o puedes entrar a nuestra página de sitio web www.mescubaus.com. Compite para la corona.
inscríbete ya.